So I'll just show you this one here, and this is an example of how I'm using it. So I'm actually going to start a lesson with myself, so you can see. So I've designed the lesson there, you see it, the reading for English 1. Um, it's going to go like that, and so then I'm just going to show you this here as well. So I have on my mobile phone a um, Nearpod left here. So all the student do is on their mobile device, or whatever device, so that, that's all they have to do, nearpod.go. So the same as the other device, on the iPad now I've got the same thing and I'm going to call myself, um, I'll name myself after the most famous New Zealand batsman of all time, Martin Crow, and I've got that there. So now we're ready to, to rock and roll. So as a teacher we're just going to log that off. The students now are seeing as I show you now, so you see my page there. Here's the student on the iPad, uh, um, on the mobile phone, that's what it looks like. And then oh, the iPad, what it's looking like. So they're seeing the same thing. Uh, just as I change here on the screen, you see it's changing exactly for the student. Now, the way I like to use Nearpod is I'm using it as a basically a PowerPoint um, teaching tool. So I'm able to direct the slides direct to the student. And in fact, it negates the need for the Apple monitor, which is quite cool as well. So you're not continually going back and forth to the Apple monitor. And that's for me it's really it's an awesome teaching tool so i just go in there and i just ask this question and they go into their groups obviously and, and they just this is a discussion topic um the same with the last one and as a teacher you are directing it they don't have any the students don't have control over how these slides move you see on the screen here there's an arrow but um on the student version here there's no arrows so they are not able to to do it but you are see we've got the two here we've got martin crow and Richard Hadley here too. So we're waiting drawing. So I'm gonna draw a picture on here. And you see it's coming up pretty fast. So there's my two devices. The students are writing, they can send things into you. That is absolutely awesome. As a teacher, I can now come and click on that and share that and say I want to, I like Martin Crow's drawing. So I want to share that to everyone. So I'm gonna share that particular drawing. And as I show you, if I show you that here, that'll come into the student. So the student now is seeing that drawing there so I can share someone's writing again an awesome tool if you want to check someone's writing or share with those that from the screen here now so you as a teacher are seeing them all here you can choose the best one and obviously put that up as as your sample so there's an awesome teaching tool there vocab um, this was a slide so uh, and I developed PowerPoint slides first I think that's the easiest way to design stuff here so you just design your PowerPoint then you drop it into Nearpod um, and you, you insert questions between it or activities on the screen here you're seeing the, the two students Hadley and Crow and we see the one two you see here these questions one two three four so now at this point it's different so they just go yes to take the quiz um, and I'm just going to put anything in here next because I'm doing this upside down and emphasizing the accurate word form and giving them different word forms to choose within a sentence so this was the vocab we were fo focusing on just press submit thank you all my questions are in there good tool isn't it we can see here question five they're having no problem with they're getting that unparalleled question right the other ones they weren't so good on so you, you can obviously go back and have a look at that again later on slide here to have a look at in this one here here now I want them to write a, a proper sentence here so they can write down emphasize to the students each time that they have to send their answer and the answer will come in and then they are dropping two words in. I might share that one. As we see, it's coming in here now. Again, I'm not gonna share it with everyone because that's a pretty good choice. And as I come back to show you, so here's the, the shared one. So the students don't see each other's unless you want them to in that, in that tool. So I use the draw it tool a lot. That would be my favorite tool. Next slide I'm gonna use here. Now, I like this one here. This is really good. So now this is the gold version. So this is a really good brainstorming thing. Um, change improvements or technology that you can use in your essay. Uh, and I'm gonna send the things dropping in here. So we see the person writing things there. Now they can write, the cool thing here is that they can write something. Um, and now you see on the other device here, it's showing as well. And on your teacher device. So you can write something in here. So I'm gonna write something from this side and just show you how it's coming up. Um, I'll just write anything. 
So that evolution's just popped up there now. So everyone's seeing these here, okay? So you're seeing it there, you're seeing it on my screen, the students are seeing it on their own devices. Now the teacher can add something as well. So they can say, um, here they are. So the teacher's writing comments as well. So this is awesome and you can go directly to them. So I like to use this uh, brainstorm one a lot here. You see all the students are getting that as well. They're seeing that. So every device is seeing the same thing, which is very cool. Um, so that brainstorm one is, is a very good thing to use. I might come back to here, uh, just for example here. I might guide them through this and say, um, culminate, great word, finish, great academic word. Maybe we're gonna use that. Forefather, not really necessary for academics. So you might come and guide them in through here. Fundamental, excellent word. You're gonna use it all the time in your writing. So again, we're coming back to here. Again, I want them to write down on here. I'm not gonna show you again, it's the same thing. I want them to write. Uh, I would like to show you one final thing that I use from time to time. Um, what I do with those pictures, yeah, you've done it. Oh, this is where you can become creative as a teacher. So th that's all the memory test does. But then I like to say, okay, now, this was these were words that related to vocab. For example, this one here in evolution. So I want them to go back and, and drones for um, technology. Okay. I, I want them to come back and, and think about how these pictures might relate to the vocab that we've learned. Um, and you can do whatever you want. I mean, this is up to you to be creative. So that's how I would use it. So the key things for me would be that um, not so much the memory test, that's kind of quirky, but the draw it thing and the brainstorming and dropping your slides in there. 